right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Czech Republic's Yuri Prohaska. Never know what haircut he's going to be bringing. I kind of miss the big, long lettuce. I don't know. Yeah, I love the ponytail. But Yuri Prohaska, for a long time, was considered one of those guys that could have an impact in the UFC. It took him a while to get here. But once he got here, it was all systems go, and he made a beeline towards becoming the light heavyweight champion. He has all the skills needed to be at the top of the sport, and tonight he steps in the octagon once again, trying to get his hand raised. Prohaska first became the champion in June of 2022, then had a devastating shoulder injury, and a lot of fans worldwide wanting to see how he responds as he gets back on the proving ground tonight. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Yuri Denisa. <laughs> and now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC right heavyweight champion of Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one. Alex Poetan Pereira, one of the best strikers pound for pound in all of mixed martial arts. Outstanding power in his hands, of course. His left hook has that undeniable death touch. But we've got our eyes on the calf kicks here tonight. He believes that that is going to be a weapon that can change the complexion of this entire fight. We'll see if Pereira gets after it. Oh, man, like that, you are on wobbly legs. Big left hand there inside. Oh, effective use of the jab by Pro Hospital. Oh, now they landed on both sides. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, landing massive shots. Oh, 
Well, good job defensively there to block the strike by Pereira. Beautiful leg kick lands. Under three minutes here to go in the round. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. The bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Great punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Trading huge shots. Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, there's the end of the round. What a fight we've got, man. I mean, multiple knockdowns. And how about the beard on that one fight? Huh? How, is, how is he even still standing? I don't know. How is he still standing? How is he still eating these strikes like Skittles? I mean, this dude should be out. Most people in the world would be done. But he continues to press forward and continues to fight. It is unreal to witness. Ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you... Oh! Now he's back up. Man, is he landing a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Prohaska's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, that's going to soften him up massively in the bottom. Oh, he hurt him again! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, 
him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. All right, so another highlight for the real, Alex Pereira, your winner by TKO. He got him hurt, and when he found his moment, he jumped on him, got the finish. Generally, he puts your lights out. This time, he had to do a little extra work, but once again, Alex Pereira wins by stoppage.